Now on the topic of gear oils and what gear oil to run in a 79 series. So this is a 2016 pre-DPF. My choice of oil through this car is Penrite. So in the diffs we put a Pro Gear full synthetic GL5 and the gearbox and transfer we put the full synthetic GL4. 20 litre drums and the taps, it's actually not a chore to do. And the access points you have on the 79 drain and filler plugs, it's really not that difficult. What I do with the front diff is I lock the hubs in and just drive it in high range for you know a couple hundred meters before I drop the oil so that it's uh, just thins it out a bit. It's actually not stagnant, so to speak. Okay, so unfortunately in the rear there's signs of water in the oil. Um, even though we've got the breather extended sitting up there under the tray, but you can see there was a lot of water in there. That should be gold like the front diff was. You got to remember when these things are working hard, they're hot. So when you go through cold water, they do draw in around that axle seal. A bit of an issue. So the drain plug for this is right there. And so uh, if I was to undo that, oil would just go everywhere and come out that hole. So obviously I've, I've punched this up and it looks like I've sort of rounded the bolts off. So what we'll do is we'll try and take this off and then drain the oil. Next time I'm under here, I do need to bring in a couple of cans of paint and just get all this uh, surface rust off the metal. The exhaust, you can see, I mean, you can just tell it's, it's been used. Looks like I've landed on those arms quite a few times too. Gearbox oil looks super clean. Yeah, plenty of signs of rust and salt water that's been in there. So we'll replace what we can. I just want to point something out with the sockets I use to take the drain and filler plugs off. Um, now they're 24 on the Land Cruiser. I prefer the six point hex. Now what that does, it, it firmly holds the nut. And when you use the 12 point, there's a good chance sometimes that you can start to round the corner of these nuts. So where I can, I use the six point. Now obviously there's gonna be places like that one won't fit there. So that's where I'll use the 12 point. And also, under the diff, in that point of the diff. Also under the diff there, when this gets full of mud and grit and stuff, um, the, the six point is very fat to fit in there. So you can use the 12 point in there if you have to, if you can't clean it all out. As you can see with this one, I've used this on bullet truck quite a lot in the past, and where rocks have actually smashed that ring into the nut, I've actually had to grind it down and make it thinner so that I can get the, the drain plug off bullet truck. Okay, now with that bash plate off, we can access this drain plug a lot easier and not have it coming out, all the different holes that the bash plate has. Let's have a look what this transfer oil looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty good too. No water in that. So just looking at my warranty book and uh, my extra maintenance notes, I mean, this is my Bible for the truck. It's a 2016 model. It's got 85,000 Ks on it now. And oh, this is gonna be the fifth time I've done the diff oils. And the third time I've done gearbox and transfer. So lucky to have Penrod on board, Team Bullet. Now the gearbox and transfer looked okay, the color of the oil. Still got that goldy tinge. Front, front diff looks all right. The rear diff's the one that was the fail. It had a lot of water in it. having this spout nozzle spout it's just so easy imagine doing this the old way with a plunger okay we seem to have found a compatible bolt for that bash plate from whatever spare packet this came from but we'll whack them in and then next time, hopefully we haven't rounded them enough that I can't undo them. Throw a bit of grease inside the thread so the new bolt's happy to screw into a bit of rusty thread. They look a little out of place there, those shiny bolts. So if you see nuts or bolts that are turning a bit feral with a bit of rust, a bit of... Um, Bit of inox, always, I carry and I just spray. Just so that next time that bolt needs to come undone, you know, hopefully, and then the opposite one the same. 
just something I do while I'm under the truck. Might have to do a bit of a chassis clean. I just saw a bit of mud there and I pushed it in. And the chassis's got a bit of mud in that spot, which I normally do clean out. But there's obviously a, a piece there that was stopping the water at the time. Always good to clean the chassis rails out. Anytime I'm under here with the creeper, I'll get the grease gun out and put a bit of grease in all the unis and the slip joins. I think I'm going to take the kids for a bit of a wheel tomorrow, uh, just to get them out of the house. While you've got the grease gun out, anything else that needs greasing, especially the tie rod end. watching.